Good morning, Gemma. How are you doing this morning? Oh, look, there's a ladybug inside my Digitech pedal. Huh, a ladybug lounging. What are you doing in here? This here is my brother's betta fish. He's out, out for a little while. Hey fella, you ever wave at me? They wave back at you. I've been instructed to feed it while he's away. That's how they communicate. Betta fish love Mr. Thrasher. Another one for you. Right there. That ought to tide you over. All right, LFAG, little free arg. Yeah! Oh my God! Someone robbed it. Oh. How can anybody sink so low as to rob a little free art gallery? A miniature art gallery. Robbed blind. Oh, isn't anything sacred? What's up everybody? Mr. Thrasher here. And uptown on a walk. Welcome back to the extremely cold, blustery Great White North. It's cold. Still cold. Still cold near the end of March here. It's still freezing cold. Had a few things I had to come up here for today, so decided I'd take you along. Uh, the reason there hasn't been any other uploads since my previous one is I've been really sick. I've had like fever and chills and a uh, runny nose and sick to my stomach, just everything. Oh, it's been awful. Stittsville Branch, the Ottawa Public Library. We're gonna stop by here, check out a few things on the way back. Haven't returned since getting that library card, so let's see what's going on in the library in a little bit here. You got a nice ride there. Don't look at it. Don't even touch it. Don't even look at it. Don't look at me either. You better walk on. Just checking out over here. It's funny, every time I'm walking up this sidewalk here, I always notice this garage separated from this house. It's like an old barn from a horror movie or something. There's a rusted roof there. It's just a detached garage from the house right here. It's a pretty old house here on Main Street. Look at the hearts. I've not, never noticed until walking right up that these hearts are actually carved out of wood. I thought they were just made of paper or something. Of course, they wouldn't survive out here in the great Canadian North. Those are wooden hearts. Okay, stepped into humankind here just off of Main Street. See the sign through the front window here. Not only a play on words, humankind, the owner's last name is actually human, so it's a double play on words. This here would be good for you, Corey. Put your beverage in here. Put the wee one in here. Or in here. Then you can hit some of those trails down south. Amelia would love that. Interesting bath squiggler. It's got a toy inside. A little bath toy. These are actually made in Vancouver. Handmade in BC. That looks like a lot of fun. Galaxy bombs. Bubbling bath bombs. Lots of stuff to entertain your young. Colored soap. Moon bombs. Moon bombs. Yeah, they have a lot of interesting stuff here for toddlers and babies. Keep them warm in the winter. Or cool in the summer. You got a headster. A headster. Head. 
the duckus's quack. Yo yo, yo, it's a yo yo. Every kid needs a yo yo. Yo yo. Yeah, I'm feeling me some pizza right now. Lots of books for your youngsters. The Hiccupy Dragon. Ooh. Don't want to mess with a dragon with hiccups. That's a very quaint store in here. Check this out. Main Street, Stittsville, if you've got toddlers or babies. They do some good business here. Doodle Bear. Unicorn. Look at these little squeezy snackers. If you only need a little bit of a snack, you're good, they could fit in your pocket. Little silicone usable food pouch. That'd come in pretty handy. Have to think about those, Corey. Squeezy snacker. Heap. Heap hop. Heap hop anonymous. I'm craving a little pizza. Not gonna get a full pizza. I'm actually gonna compare a slice of pizza from JoJo's here to Milano's just up the way. I think they're my two favorite pizza establishments here on Main Street in Stittsville. Let's get a slice from JoJo's Pizzeria. These interesting pieces of wood that they have up here around the lights. That's pretty cool. There's a song that George is singing in The Wedding Singer. Okay, so this is what you get from JoJo's. This is actually one slice cut in half. So this is pretty good. This is meat lovers. I got I got a free piece of green pepper there. Hopefully I don't get any copyright checks here. Oh, it's good. Fresh. Fresh. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, their dough is really good. JoJo is always good. They don't burn that crust. It's perfect. Mmm. 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 Actually, just eating over here outside of Holy Confections and Honey Honey Coffee, there was nowhere to sit over at JoJo's and the music was too loud inside. But this is good. This is good. I will try to get a slice there at Milano's. See how they even up, but very good. Other option is to walk about and eat to avoid some of the music. I could do an ad for JoJo's to stand out here waving slices of pizza. Go to JoJo's, it's good! Try JoJo's, it's good! It's good! The cheese is really good today. Damn. Turn your music down. Still cold. It's so cold. Look at, they've used these bottoms of these trees. This is the bottom of a tree trunk. Just the bottom piece of it. That's how wide that thing was. They use them as decorations here. It's pretty cool. No time to waste unless it's wasted wisely. What up, Mick? Go to JoJo's, man. Just over here, fixing my goatee and face in the glass. This woman's noticing, looking at me very funny. Sorry, just needed your glass window here. The only thing about country music, it's too sad. <laughs> it's good sausage. That is meat lovers, baby. JoJo's was good. Always is. Kudos, JoJo's. Would have went with some angry Cheerios, but they're angry. 
pudgy boys angry. Those churros, always so angry. Nice sunny day today. Naturally, when the sun's out, I'm a little happier. I mean, who isn't? Who isn't a little happier? Gray days, I'm just a little less happy naturally. I don't know why that is. It's not a conscious decision, it's just natural. The sun makes me happy. That is a fact. There's Milano's right here. So we'll get a slice from Milano and see how that compares to JoJo's. Because it's pizza day. Okay, after slamming the door closed as it states here on this sign, I was informed that they don't sell slices in the winter. Well, damn. I know they have good pizza, but I'm not buying a whole pie. I, I just had one. He said, my neighbor has slices. I was like, I know, I just had one. He said, people don't walk in off the street as I just did in the winter. I said, I just walked in off the street. But not enough. Well, it certainly ain't the end of the world. The slice that I got from JoJo's is, I guess, the winner. Winner by forfeit. <laughs> oh, geez, you can walk a mile and never see a garbage can. Finally found a garbage can. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Head on into the library. See what kind of interesting books or DVDs they got going on in here. Oh, there is a hidden garbage can over here in the corner outside the library. Look at this, the old return slot. The old return slot. I wonder how many kids would put funny things in here. Dead animals or something. A slice of pizza. I wonder what the funniest thing that's ever come through the book return slot would be. Because you can fit a lot in there. <laughs> Not sure if this whole thing is still set up from... Uh... St. Paddy's Day or something. This giant green dragon. Green dragon. Everything in here is green. The frowning green dragon is green. Some green Lego. A green fly swatter. Some green dice. The mini green dragon. God, look at all the green. Green Sharpie highlighter. Green pencil. Green car. Is that a green booger? Looks like the car is pooping a green booger seen anything like that. Look at that big fat dice. I like that. It's like a stress reliever when you squeeze those. Look how much green is in there. It's hard to find those light green sharpies. Got a green candy in there. Some fake vegetables. I don't know what that thing is. Wow. Interesting. Some green play-doh. Rock and green tambourine. The rock and green tambourine. Pretty good selection of DVDs. We don't have VHS movie stores anymore, but you can still go to your public library and find a quality movie to take out for free. You get to rent it for free. They got a pretty good selection. Quite a few racks here. I'm gonna take a gander through here. See if anything catches my fancy. It's really hard to sit and watch a movie nowadays unless it's an old film. I did just watch Cocaine Bear, which was pretty good. Sorry, I'm talking a little lower because I'm in a library. Blood Quantum. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Fun and gory as hell. Oh, found another 007 movie. Huh, surprised the newest one, No Time to Die, which I thought was a pretty good film. I mean, it could have been better. It wasn't his time. <laughs> Got trailer park boys, I have this at home, live at the North Pole. It's pretty funny. The North Pole actually being Minneapolis, if I remember correctly. Those who wish me dead. I get the complete collection of Shit's Creek here. I love Eugene Levy. That, that's something to think about. Just don't know where I'd find the time to do this stuff. This guy freaks me out. He really freaks me out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no time to die. Yeah, he freaks me out. Check this out. Belushi. You haven't seen this. John Belushi. Showtime special documentary on John Belushi. You haven't seen this. Everyone loved him. Few knew him. Hmm, I think I'm gonna take that out for sure. Photo of John Belushi there holding the Blues Brothers pin. Him and Dan Aykroyd there. Blues Brothers, forever a classic. Director R.J. Cutler gives you a revealing look at the brilliant life of comedic legend John Belushi. Hey, definitely gonna, gonna take this out. This book here looks pretty interesting by Anthony Horowitz, The Twist of a Knife. Looks pretty interesting. It's a New York Times best-selling author, so bet you it's a good tale. This book here on Harriet Quimby called Fearless. Award-winning author Don Daller tells the life story of the first woman to take to the skies, Harriet Quimby. That'd be an interesting read. The First Lady of the Skies. A big awesome dragon here, top the bookshelf. Look at that. I always find myself drawn to things like that, but not only art, but the kids section. I guess I do have kind of a kid mentality. Something that keeps me young. What am I looking for? Goosebumps books. Stranger Things fans, they even have Stranger Things books out now. An official Stranger Things novel. Rebel Robin. Don't really want to help ask the librarian. Uh, where do you keep the Goosebumps books? Don't you know the Dewey Decimal System? <laughs> reading this book here, checking this out. It's called Shake Hands with the Devil, and it's all about failure of humanity in Rwanda. I said if I had the quiet time, I would spend a lot of time reading and learning. I like books about war. Well, I like all kinds of stuff, as you can tell if you watch the channel, but I like books about war and history. This is interesting. This is pretty interesting. There's a book called The First True Thing, a raw and heartbreaking story about addiction recovery that will leave readers breathless. I pick up my phone and text Hannah. Where are you? When are you coming back? I don't say I'll lie for her, but I don't say I won't. This says free. I don't know if these are free to take or what. Out Cold. I remember that film. Remember that film? We got some Harry Potter on VHS. Dances with Wolves, Exit Wounds, Fletch, Chevy Chase. That's pretty good. These are free for the taking? Insomnia. Legends, icons, and rebels change the music world. See many familiar faces in here. No doubt. Yes, Chuck Berry. Johnny Be Good. Mr. Cash. Johnny Cash. Aretha. Everybody wants to party with Aretha. I'm really glad she looked at WrestleMania 3 when she performed America the Beautiful. Aretha and the Beatles. Even bigger than a Beatles reunion concert. Louis Armstrong, the ambassador. I'm pretty good with my music. There's Marley. Bob. Bob Marley. Buddy Holly. Wow. Joni Mitchell. What else we got here? Ray Charles. He performed America the Beautiful WrestleMania 2. My favorite rendition of America the Beautiful ever was by good old Ray Charles. This is cool. Book on Michael J. Fox, Always Looking Up, Adventures of an Incurable Optimist. MJF, from right here in Canada. 
This looks good. Yeah, a lot of information in here too about his Parkinson's disease, of course, his battles with Parkinson's, and uh, why we don't see him do as much acting. Marty! Marty! You didn't fall asleep, did you? Get a good wide variety of compact disc and DVDs in this section of the library as well. I'm going to be in any of those. Any of these, and we got some Bob Marley and Travis Tritt. The Double T. Groups. Groups. Rascal Flats. Oh, there's a friggin' rock and roll record. The Who Quadrophenia. Oh, yeah. This is only uh, disc two. Disc two. That album was a lot longer than that, though. Dr. Jimmy and Mr. Jim. When I'm pilled, I don't notice him. He only comes out when I drink my gin. Oh, yeah. Get a grip on that. Here's a great book on Terry Fox. If you don't know the Terry Fox story, check out the episode I did on Terry Fox. Search Mr. Thrash at Terry Fox. I did a full run dedicated to him on Terry Fox Run Day, running down the same road he ran down here in Ottawa, now named Terry Fox Drive. So this is pretty cool. This book actually shows you everywhere he did run. I guess it's in French. And there's Terry right there. True Canadian hero. There's Terry and his mom. Wow. With one good leg. And across Canada. Marathon of hope. Uh, that looks pretty interesting. Skullduggery pie. Oh my goodness. Blast away. That's what happens after uh, chili and fajita night. Is that Roll Doll right there? I don't know if I've ever seen a picture of Roll Doll, but I used to read a lot of Roll Doll books in elementary school, like the BFG. Um, did he do Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I know he did the BFG. Oh, The Twits. That was a heck of a book that I read over and over in elementary school. The Twits. Even our third grade teacher read that to us. Apparently they don't have any Goosebumps books here, but I'm still going to check out this uh, Belushi uh, DVD, got my library card in my wallet. Yeah, you could literally spend a whole day around here. Book here on the War of 1812. Yeah. I'll be coming back. I'll be coming back here, but it's going to um, check this one out for now. Said, I wish I had more time to read. Imagine that. All right. Say goodbye to the dragon. You can also take out video games, all kinds of stuff here. Today you are you, that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Wow, 2023, a different time at the library. This is interesting because you now don't need the librarian to check out your book. You do it right here on a machine. You put your card here under the scanner. You put in the last four digits of your pin, which is your phone number. And it gives you receipt and everything. And the receipt has your due date. Yeah, I'll just stick my receipt in the case. Belushi, you're coming with me. That's going to do it today. Please like, please subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe and let you know when a new episode goes up. You never know what you may be missing here on the Mr. Thrasher Show. A farewell from the beta. Please like, please subscribe. Because the beta says so.